Hello and welcome back to my Devil May Cry 5 Hell and Hell S rank guide. This is mission 14, Diverging Point V. Uh, this is the last V mission in the game and it's a pretty easy and fun mission if you as I did like the bus rush missions in Devil May Cry 3 and 4. We are going to use auto assist here but the reason for that is not because of bogus ranking or difficulty. It's it's just to speed, especially the fights against Artemis and Cavalier Angelo up. Since the faster it goes, the less chance there is that you will get sheep shotted by especially Cavalier Angelo. The only uh, thing to really take notice of here is Goliath's attack, when where he charges and throws himself at you, which can be pretty tricky to dodge with V if you don't know what you're doing. I will show you a failsafe method to avoid that attack here by choosing Griffon first on Artemis and then Nightmare on Goliath to always make sure we have the double jump technique with Griffon ready. So uh, there is uh, some downtime on this mission, which is another reason maybe to use auto assist to speed it up a bit. And first we're gonna Choose Artemis and Griffin. And with auto assist on, Griffin uh, gets her down pretty fast, and you can just focus on dodging. You just spam the attack button with Griffin, and then you just focus on dodging. And her attacks are very easy to dodge with uh, V. And they're very easy to dodge in general. They're probably easier to dodge with uh, Nero and the Gerbera, but. It's absolutely nothing to worry about with V. There, there really aren't any attacks uh, that Artemis has that you have to look out for in particular. Uh, what, what, I, what I do on Artemis is I just run to the side. And her uh, vertical attack, this attack, it won't hit you if you just run. So I just run all the time. And... Uh, the other attacks she does are pretty slow moving, like this attack, so you can just, you see it, you, you, you don't stop running when she does her animation, but you just jump over it when, when you see another one than the vertical attack. And then I just spam the attack button here with V and the auto assist makes very quick use of her. And her charge attack, this one, is just jump one time to the side. And the iframes keeps you safe. And watch out for that when she shoots out her balls. And if you have auto assist on, Griffin has a tendency to charge into them and get stalemated. But when she shoots her balls, uh, watch out. But this is only taking a few minutes. It's absolutely nothing to worry about. And here's a double jump on that uh, attack, and then it's just running. It only takes around two minutes with auto assist, and it probably takes four or five minutes without auto assist. Because uh, when you uh, you can't just run around when you don't have auto assist, because you have to use the left analog to do inputs on different moves. But you don't have to worry about that with auto assist. And there's Artemis out of the way. Next up is Goliath. And on Goliath, we're going to choose Nightmare. Because we want to always have Griffin alive for when he does his charge move and throws himself at you. Because if you use the double jump, which uh, the, the, double, the uh, Griffin assisted ju double jump and keep holding A button or X, 
you stay in the air and you will always uh, avoid that attack. Even if you, your timing is off, you will still avoid it as long as you hold the jump button. So I'm choosing Nightmare here and I got full Devil Trigger in, so I just uh, summon him immediately to speed things up a bit. And now a Griffin is invincible, so I'm using Griffin's charge move, which does, does a lot of damage. It's uh, it's forward plus uh, the action button with Griffin. And locking on. And I'm not going to waste all the, the Devil Trigger on Nightmare, just to be, because if... Uh, because if Griffin dies, you're in, uh, you can be in a world of hurt here. If he does his charging, throwing himself at you, move. So I'm just saving it. I have three bars enough to, to uh, summon Nightmare. Here you see, there's a charge, and I just use the double jump and hold the jump button. And it will never ever hit you, and he does it again, and I just jump and hold. See, my timing there isn't particularly good either. I, I do it a little bit too early, but I'm still safe because I hold the jump button. And your, your inputs, um, when you have auto assist on, if you do uh, inputs of your own, they override the auto assist. It's just when you spam the buttons that the, the auto assist moves, counts. So as you see here, I got Nightmare again, and I'm doing, uh, and, and I'm inputting the charge move with Griffin. And he goes down very, very fast Goliath. I think it goes faster than if you use shadow here. Because shadow just dies all the time. And this doesn't waste devil trigger. You summon you summon nightmare here, but the, as you see the devil trigger bar isn't going down as this counts as an ender move. Now it's just uh, Cavalier Angelo left. And he can be a bit tricky, but with the auto assist and summoning Nightmare, he's going to go down very, very fast. The only thing you need to watch out for is his teleport attack. And it can be a bit hard to see sometimes. It is telegraphed, but it can be hard to see because of all the stuff going on with Nightmare, Griffin, and Shadow doing their thing at the same time. And Shadow, as you saw there, he immediately gets stalemated. So he's pretty useless on this stage in general. And I summon Nightmare instantaneously to revive Shadow. But you see how fast he goes down without the assist. I, I can't replicate that at least. I don't have the ability to to do that amount of inputs uh, on that on the same amount of time as the auto assist does it. So this is it's worth having auto assist on, uh, on this mission if you if you know if you watch out for the dodges. Or I mean if you watch out and or prepare to dodge. Now I'm just jumping around while he's shooting. And then I get the devil trigger back up so I summon nightmare and this is gonna end the fight. That's the last mission with V. Next up, we're going to go through the Dante missions. But if you've gotten this far and you've done the Nero and the V missions, uh, you can pretty much consider Dante your victory march. Uh, you, all the tricky parts of Hell and Hell are done now. The Dante missions are very easy, thanks to the Dr. Foss cheese. So if you've gotten this far, you can consider uh, the Worthy of Legend trophy or achievement, or at least the Highway to Hell trophy or achievement in your grasp now.
And a thing to note is that if you want to do this mission without auto assist, you can easily get the start points by just mixing up your attack on Artemis with uh, Griffin. And then uh, Goliath, you just summon Nightmare, and you will usually get an S rank when Nightmare is active on Goliath. And then uh, on Cavalier Angelo, it's also pretty easy to get a, at least a double S rank by just mixing up the attacks and keeping Shadow and Griffin alive with the summoning Nightmare. So if you want to do it without auto assist and uh, have the the leeway of taking up to two hits, you can you can do that without much of a hassle too. I, I just tend to use auto assist here, as I said, to, to speed it up. Let's see how many much style points the auto assist got here. So it got it got over. It got five thousand six hundred style points, and that's that was without the auto assist mixing up the attacks on Artemis. So, so you don't need to worry about style points if you want to do this mission without auto assist. 